Hey guys, Sister Riz here. I'm just going to do a tutorial on routing um, in FL Studio 12 because the mixer is a bit different. Um, it's going to be kind of in response to a question I had on one of my previous videos. Um, my control surface one, which is cool, you should check it out if you're wondering about linking a whole bunch of synths uh, to one control. So here, time to time to see clear. Pretty, he's pretty much asking. He's trying to send a bus to a delay and a reverb, and he uh, something's going wrong. So I, I think it has to do with his routing uh, in the mixer. So hopefully I can try and fix that. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Here's the beat I'm working with here. Okay, so pretty cool. So I'm just gonna solo just the chords here. Turn that. Okay. So once you have your your plugins that you want to route, um, just make sure that you want to highlight whichever one you want to route to the mixer. So here, this one's highlighted. I can right click on any mixer track. Go to channel routing, route selected channel to this track, or you can just click, click Control L. It'll auto name it, auto color. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can just change these, and it'll route it. Um, but okay, so I have like all my tracks routed here. Now to start with, the track is going to look like this, and it'll have these routed as well. These are just sends, but I just create my own sends. So, it'll be routed just to the master uh, channel, but you don't want that. You want all these plugins to be going into one bus so you can listen to them all at the same time and go through one output and maybe, you know, throw some side chaining or whatever on it um, all together. So, what you're going to do is click on your track, make sure it's highlighted, right click on this right here and go route to this track only. So it'll disengage all other routing and only route it to that track. So now all these are gone, that was gone, and it's just routing to here. And this is like my, my bus, I named it All Chords Dry, okay? So all these are linked to that one. So all of these are now putting, are now outputting into here and this is going to the master channel. Okay, so fair enough. Okay, perfect. So then, since I want to put reverb and delay on all of these, I don't want to put reverb on top of reverb on top of delay and because that would really muddy up your mix, so I have to go into my plugins and I'm disabling reverb and delay on each of my plugins. Some of these are presets, some of them are my presets, and they have reverb and delay on them, but I don't I want to use one global delay and reverb for all of them. So I'm disabled all of them. Uh, some of these are if you want my presets, this is my preset, and this is another my of one of my presets but you can go download it from another video and the link should be in the description yeah for free so anyway that, that they're turned off and all my plugins check okay so just have the dry signal right not not any reverb reverb or delay so now we're gonna create some new tracks here so I'll go like this I right click or F2 to rename and I'll call it Reverb bus, or just reverb. And also you can navigate around the mixer by using the arrow keys. So I can switch channels like that, right? And rename is F2. Boom, okay, I'll name this delay. Okay, go to the next one, rename it all chords wet. Okay. So, now, what I'm going to do here, since my signal is going through here, I want it to go through reverb and delay, but not reverb and then delay. So, I'm going to make sure this is highlighted. Right click, or 
again you can just click to engage or disengage so I'll just disengage that and right click or left click to engage so now this is being sent through the reverb so let's put a reverb on there now I'm gonna use plug and picker so if you have plug and picker you just uh, if you have a mouse just center click or uh, whoops uh, so center click your your mouse wheel like click your mouse wheel and then there's lots of categories you can even create these categories if you want to know how to do that just let me know and I can make a tutorial on it but okay go to delay reverb um, fruity reverb 2 so like these categories might be different for you um, because I made my own but again if you want to know how to do that just let me know find your reverb put it in there and okay find a delay put it in there as well in the other one so you have reverb plug-in delay now since this signal is going into here you want you only want the wet signal so I'm gonna turn down the dry to zero so you're only gonna get the wet signal okay and you want your reverb to be going into your wet okay so I just disengaged it from the master and routed it to the you know wet or the total bus okay so, and I also want my dry to be going to, to the total bus. So think about it this way. You have a dry signal, it's going to a reverb, but you're just hearing the reverb, so you still want to hear the dry signal. So that's why you have to route it to your output bus, okay? And same thing with the delay. I want to hear delay, so I turn it on, but I only want my, and I want my delay to be going through this bus, not the master. So I think that's might have been the mistake that time to see clear was making is his, his plugins he might have not had his dry wet at zero or his dry knob at zero and then he might have had it going to the output so that could be a mistake so watch out for that um, and you can adjust your wet and your settings here um, so I, you're, I know what you're probably thinking well why would you bother doing this if you can just slap a delay or a reverb on your plugin here or on your mixer channel here and the answer is you can affect your, your reverb way more um, when it's on its own so like if I had a reverb on this channel and I threw a reverb on you hear the reverb but say I wanted to affect the reverb itself well I can't just do that because now I'm affecting the entire signal but here I can affect the reverb by itself so I can cut out everything below you know 200 or 300 Hertz because that's a really muddy range and that's that'll be just affecting my reverb and delay and I know you can do this in the plugin reverb too right you low cut here you can adjust it but I want precise control and delay you don't have that option on this one so it's pretty handy and you can add different effects on your reverb if you want so I think it's you can affect your delay and your reverb way more and kind of fine-tune it okay so we have all this set up. Let's see what it sounds like. Make sure my dry is turned off here and my feedback is low and Okay. Okay. So sounds pretty good. You can adjust these settings to taste. So, I don't know. Sure. Okay, so it sounds sounds decent, right? Without any with. Okay. Okay, so now that we have everything routed correctly, then this goes to the output. And this is like your total, you're hearing everything. Um, so then you can affect this however way you want. You can do this with like uh, chorus or flanger effects you can do the same sort of thing just make sure that all your routing is in order so I'll go over this one more time because I know it's kinda it might be confusing so your dry signal you want it to go through your reverb and a delay not in series but parallel so your dry is going through your reverb and delay at the same time and then it's going to this channel including the dry signal so yeah I hope that makes sense it if it doesn't, let me know and I can try and answer comments or questions. Um, yeah, and yeah, let me know if there's any other tutorials that you want me to do. And I guess thanks for watching.